Hello class, this is a video tutorial on decimal multiplication and division using fractions. Before we continue, let's recall how fractions multiply and divide. So for, for um, fraction multiplication, nice and simple, top times top, bottom times bottom, so numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator, and we simplify where we can. As for fraction division, we keep the first fraction, we change the division into a multiplication, and then we flip the second fraction. Let's do a quick example of each of these. So for this one, top times top, three times eight, which is 24. Four times nine, denominator times denominator, that just becomes 36. And from here, we can simplify everything. Um, think of the highest common factor between 24 and 36, which is 12. So 24 divided by 12 is 2. 36 divided by 12 is 3. So this evaluated becomes 2 thirds. As for fraction division, we keep the first fraction. So it stays as a half. We change the division to multiplication and we flip the second fraction. So we've talked about this before. This is the reciprocal. So this becomes, so instead of four, uh, 5 over 4, we flip it for it to become 4 over 5. And as you can see, this just becomes the fraction multiplication. Numerator times numerator, 1 times 4 is 4 and then denominator times denominator. 2 times 5 is 10, and this can be simplified dividing both by 2, 2 over 5. So notice how we've done this using fractions. Now by converting decimals into fractions, we can actually just utilize these methods. So here we have uh, six examples, you can pause at any time, and um, yeah, here we go. So for this, recall that this position is the tenths, so this can be converted into 1 over 10 times, and 5 over 10, sorry, 0 0.5 is 5 tenths, which for some of you, you could have already noticed that that was the same as a half. So this decimal multiplication can be represented as one tenth times one half, which at this point is nice and simple. Top times top, one times one gives you one, and 10 times two gives you 20. So 0 0.1 times 0 0.5 gives you 1 over 20. For this, um, you can convert this back into decimals, but I'm going to leave it as a fraction here. Okay, so let's keep going with this. So 0 0.75. This, since this position here is hundredths, this becomes 75 over 100. Whereas this is going to be 2 over 10, because this position is tenths. Now for some of you, as you can see, this can be simplified do uh, down to 3 over 4. At this point, actually, I find a lot simpler. We just do numerator times numerator, which is uh, 3 times 2 is 6 over 4 times 10 is going to be 40. Both of these numbers are divisible by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. 40 divided by 2 is 20. And so this simplifies down to 3 over 20 which, once again, you can simplify into, or well, convert into a fraction 
uh, decimal, which I'm going to leave as it is as a fraction. All right, let's keep going. 1.25. So you can convert this in any manner of way that you'd like. For me, I'm going to I'm going to convert it to well this is the tenths position again. So this becomes 125 over 100. And this one is going to be in the tenths position. So it's going to be 55 over 10. We can simplify all of these numbers. Uh, I can divide this by 25, which gives me 5 over 4. And both of these numbers are divisible by 5. So 55 divided by 5 is 11. And 10 divided by 5 is 2. And once again, this becomes a lot simpler now. It's just top times top. 5 times 11 is 55 divided by 4 times 2 is just going to be 8. And once again, using long division, we could just convert this into a decimal, but we're going to leave it as a fraction for now. All right, so let's keep going with these examples. Um, let's convert these again into... Um, uh, into fractions. So this one's going to be, uh, since this position is um, the hundredths, this becomes 24 over 100 divided by 0 0.4 is 4 over 10. And then now we need to simplify these as much as we can. 24 is divisible by 4 this becomes 6 over, since we've divided this by 4, I'll just demonstrate it here, we're dividing this by 4, we're also dividing this by 4. So 100 divided by 4 is 25, and for this one, we're going to divide both by 2. It becomes 2 over 5. Now since this is a fraction divided by a fraction, we can keep the first fraction, change the division into a multiplication, and flip the second fraction, so 5 over 2. This becomes a lot simpler now. This becomes 6 times 5, which is 30. 25 times 2 gives us 50. And since they're both divisible by 10, this can simplify down to 3 over 5. And there we have it. All right, let's keep going with these last two examples. Let's convert these first again into uh, fractions. So this will become 35 over 100 because this position is the is the hundredths position, whereas this one's going to be the tenths position, so 8 over 10. I can see we can divide everything here by 5. Let's simplify before we um, try and multiply. 35 divided by 5 is 7. 100 divided by 5 is 20. Likewise with this fraction, I can divide both by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4 over. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And we still have that division here. And now at this point, this is just fraction division. So this becomes 7 over 20. We keep the first, change division into multiplication, and we flip the second one. This becomes 5 over 4. So now we just do top times top, bottom times bottom. 7 times 5 gives us 35. 20 times 4 is 80. And we can simplify this by dividing both.
by 5 again. 35 divided by 5 is 7. 80 divided by 5 is going to be 16. And so this simplifies down to uh, 7 over 16. And there we have it. Whoops. Let's move on to the final example. Okay, so for this one, um, if you can recognize common uh, decimals, you'll see that this actually just becomes 1 over 8. But let's continue as if we didn't remember that. So this will become 125 over 1,000. And 70, 0 0.75 is in the hundredths position. So 75 over 100. For these, I can divide everything by 25. Simplifying that, the numerator of this one is, I can see, is going to be 5 over. Um, 100 divided by 25 is 4, carrying that 0. Likewise with this, I can divide both by 25 as well. This gives me 3 over 4. That is fully simplified. But this one, I can actually simplify further. I can divide this by 5. And as you can see, we get down to that common, uh, the common fraction, 1 over 8 divided by 3 over 4. And so now this just becomes that fraction division. So we keep the first, change the, the division into a multiplication, and we flip the second. Now this just becomes top times top, 1 times 4 is 4, 8 times 3 is 24. We can divide both by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 24 divided by 4 is 6. So this decimal division simplifies down to 1 over 6. All right, so I hope that gave you an insight into uh, decimal multiplication and division just by using fractions. I hope to see you in the next video. and. Best of luck.